Good afternoon, y'all. I am here at the Houston Immigration Court, or at least one of them, and we're trying to get a dismissal from the case. And we're in good spirits. We have a pretty good idea the, the direction is going to go, but we still have to formally go to court. A lot of things happen. But hey, before I go in there, let me know how soon you think I'm going to get this order. Hey, what's up, y'all? About to go into Houston Immigration Court um, and get a dismissal for a married couple and see how it goes. Just wanted to share a little behind the scenes. I'll let you know soon. All right, so great news. The case got dismissed. And actually, a lot of work was put in to this case many weeks before, okay? The client provided a certain evidence that we needed. We call it bona fide evidence of marriage. Now, here's the deal. There are many great attorneys out there, but are they proactive? That's a key difference, right? So when you consider and hire a lawyer, find one that does something like this. The first thing we did, other than getting the evidence, was contact the Department of Homeless Security Attorneys to see what their position is to get a dismissal, all right? And once we got that email correspondence going, they ended up asking us for fingerprint, a uh, criminal background check with the FBI. So we immediately contacted the client. The client was able to do it online, which is a new thing with the FBI. You could do it online, and we got the results within about three days. So once we got the res results, we immediately shared it with the government attorney. So when I say immediately, we don't wait. Essentially, as soon as we get that email, we turn around and forward it to the other attorney or reattach. Okay, so the second thing is that when we were in court, right, there are a couple other cases in front of us, and they went through the whole spiel of talking about the notice to appear, which is imp important. But this is the first court appearance for this client. Uh, and move from a different city down to Houston, Texas. So I realized, well, look, if it's a first court appearance, they would need to discuss the notice to appear. It's essentially what we call charging document as if it was criminal court. So what I did was I went ahead, did a sidebar with the attorney, Department of Homeland Security attorney. I asked them, look, is there a way that we can avoid even talking about or entering pleadings is what we call it? Because, you know, ultimately that saved at least five minutes. So time is important to clients time is important especially to the judge and very important to department of homeland security attorney because they're always slammed with so many cases and uh to review and go through on a day-to-day -day basis so i believe everyone appreciated and that's how we're proactive we're the immigration problem solvers my name is john ting have a good day oh and if you enjoyed these tips and learning about our success stories you know what to do follow right here